Hey YouTubers, Alien2049655 here, making vlog video number two. The uh, day has been pretty uninteresting, pretty mundane. Uh, played a little Minecraft. Um, screwed around on the internet. Man, this is going to be a total waste of film. Uh, or a total waste of memory, rather. <laughs> we don't use film anymore. Um, hmm. Well. <laughs> the other day I said, or yesterday, or the last video I posted, I said I would go into a little more detail on why I'm against President Obama. Um, I believe the statement I made was he was turning our country communist. And to me, he's trying to, so, uh, from what it appears to me, he's trying to, to turn us into a socialist nation, which is just another form of communism. He is unilaterally making decisions, uh, completely ignoring Congress, uh, executive decisions that he does, executive decisions that he does not have the power to do under the law, these supposed laws that give him the power to do that are by nature illegal in the first place, they're, and they're not, uh, unconstitutional, uh, they are Therefore, they are illegal. Anything that's unconstitutional in this nation is supposed to be rendered illegal. Yeah. But the Supreme Court doesn't seem to do its job lately. So, because of that and the lack of action in Congress, or the liberal actions in Congress, uh, the Constitution is getting stopped. This nation needs to return to uh, what it once was. Uh, go back to the ideals that our forefathers, the founders of this nation, had in mind. Uh, of course, there's a few things I would leave in place because they're for the benefit of the nation. Like, uh, Slavery would still continue to be illegal. Um, some moderate gun control, uh, but not to the degree that they're trying to do right now. Um, I don't think anybody needs a fully automatic weapon unless they're in a competition. Um, but semi-auto, bolt action, muzzle loaders, those can all stay. Um, I also mentioned Senator Lautenberg's law, the one that if you're convicted of domestic violence, you uh, lose your gun rights. And I'll go into a little more on why uh, on why I was convicted of domestic violence. Most people automatically assume that a guy with my conviction went up and beat up on his girlfriend. In this case, that's not true. I had a male roommate that we were just simply sharing the apartment for the convenience of cheap rent. Needless to say, our personalities didn't mesh. And, well, this man was a control freak. More so than I am, and I'm a control freak myself, but he puts me to shame. Um, in that regard. Anyhow, I was working third shift when this happened. I, that means I work at night and sleep during the day. This is back before I got diagnosed with my mental illness. Um, I've also had emotional trauma that has done some permanent damage. 
Um, I'm actually a little nervous talking on camera, and this is meant to be therapeutic. Um, help me open up to people more. Um, I pretty much live like like a hermit. I do live in this house with three other people, my immediate family, but I pretty much keep to myself. Um, I hang out in my lair. Um, they'd like to see more of me, but I don't feel comfortable doing that. Not yet. Um, anyway, I was working third shift. That job, needless to say, did not last very long uh, for two reasons. I was getting ready to quit anyway because I couldn't hack it. And second of all, I wasn't getting sufficient sleep when I should be sleeping so that I could be rested and recharged because my roommate likes to dub tapes all day long and he does it at full fucking value. He cranks it all the way up to 11 and lets it fly whether I'm trying to sleep or not. Anyway, when I told him that I have to sleep or I won't be able to do my work at the factory tonight, this is my words to him. That radio needs to stop while I'm home. If you want to do dubbing, dub it while I'm at work. He didn't want to hear that. He says, no, while you're at work, I'm asleep. Well, I would like to sleep while you're, while you're home. You know. Anyway, well, long story short, an argument ensued, and he started calling names, I started calling names, and he called me something that is one of my biggest pet peeves. I have never been and never will be a whore. Um, I am not a pervert, I am not a whore, I do not give out sex for money. I do not pay for sex. I believe it's something that should be monetarily free. Um, anyone who has a girlfriend or is married knows that sex isn't truly free, but I don't think you, uh, your girlfriend should accept money for it. Um, at least not as the primary payment. I mean, you do spend a lot of your money on your girlfriend or your wife, but that's out of love. That's not out of a business transaction. The way I look at it is that's a gift. Not not paying for Nookie. Um, so, anyway, that set me off four months in a row of that blasting radio while I'm trying to sleep, get some sleep before I have to go to work, or had to go to work. And calling me a whore was just the straw that broke the camel's back. And I lost it. Um, I'm usually pretty patient and pretty self-restraining. Self -restraining. But for some reason, that didn't happen this time. And as a result, because even though we weren't a pair, we weren't an item, uh, because we both lived in the same residence, the cops called it domestic violence. Whether the, whether the victim is your spouse or not, um, or your significant other. This was supposed to be a business relationship, more or less a business partnership, that needless to say, just went all to hell. Um, and I see that my timer is coming up on 10 minutes, so, You'll have to go to part two of this little story. I'll see you then.